Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Jeff from the Catholic Breakfast Team. This is another installment of the New Nazareth series in which we reflect on the Incarnation and all it means for us. I want to offer a reading today from the 2010 film by director Xavier Beauvoir of Gods and Men. It's the true story of Catholic monks living near a Muslim village in North Africa at the time of an upsurge of jihadist activity. And amidst the hor horrific violence going on all around them, and having been visited by an angry group of armed jihadis and threatened, they live in fear, certain that at any moment they may be killed. Almost crushed by the pressure of this environment, they debate whether they should leave for their own safety or stay with the community. And on one evening, reflecting upon the night that this mob visited, the abbot, Father Christian, spoke these words to his brother monks. I've often thought of that time when Ali Fatia and his men were here and then left. When they were gone, all we had left to do was live. And the first thing we did, two hours later, we celebrated the Mass, the Christmas Vigil. It's what we had to do. It's what we did. And we sang the Mass, and we welcomed that child who was born for us absolutely helpless and already so threatened. And afterwards, we found salvation in undertaking our daily tasks, the kitchen, the garden, the prayers, the bells, day after day. We had to resist that violence, huh? And day after day, I think we each discovered that to which Jesus Christ beckons us. It is to be born. Our identities as men, huh? they go from one birth to another. And from birth to birth, we end up bringing to the world the child of God that we are. The incarnation for us is to allow the filial reality of Jesus to embody itself in our humanity. The mystery of the Incarnation remains for us what we are going to live. In that way, what we've already lived through here takes root, as well as what we're going to live in the future. <laughs>